Hey everybody, it's Lon Seiben, and we're taking a look today at the Anchor PowerCore 20100 Plus, and they sent this to the show for us to take a look at. Uh, this has a USB-C output on it, so you can charge uh, USB-C devices along with traditional USB devices too. So it's a, a pretty versatile little battery pack here that can charge your laptop if you have one of those new USB-C ports on there. We did look at another battery from Anchor with the same capacity, so this one uh, is also 20,100 milliamp hours, but it outputs less power and it's a little bit less rugged. So this one's made out of plastic, although it's a high impact plastic. Uh, this one is made out of metal and it can also output more power at once. So you can get uh, six amps of total USB output uh, with this device. So you can charge your tablets, two of them at full speed, and you can even plug in a third device into the USB-C port here and get two amps on each of these ports. So every one of these ports can charge uh, at the same rate that a tablet wall adapter will charge at. So that's pretty good. It doesn't support quick charging though. So if you have have one of those phones that supports that technology, uh, this pack won't do that. However, some phones do support three amps of power charging and you can get three amps out of these two USB ports. But once you plug in something into that uh, USB-C port to charge, you're gonna get two across all three. If that's a little confusing, I'm sorry, but uh, power can get a little complicated with some of these devices. But again, uh, two amps pretty much each if you have everything plugged in, but that's still full tablet power speed uh, out of all three ports, which is pretty good. Now this is less capacity on the output uh, than you would normally get with the wall adapter for your laptop though. So for example, uh, my MacBook here uh, has a, I think a 29 watt power adapter, which is more than double uh, the speed in which this one will output at. So uh, your Laptops will charge slower, uh, but your tablets will charge at the same speed they will on the wall. But if you're walking around somewhere and you just plug it in while you're not using it, uh, your laptop will get a decent charge over time. It'll just take a little bit longer than it would uh, when it's not plugged into the wall. Now, the other thing I want to point out here is that you've got uh, a button here to turn the battery on, which is no uh, big surprise there, but you definitely want to make sure you turn the battery on before you plug your laptop in. Uh, otherwise, your laptop will be charging the battery, and while you have it plugged in, you'll actually be draining your laptop as opposed to charging it. So make sure you turn that uh, button on and you get the lights on there to make sure that uh, your laptop is going to charge because this USB-C uh, port actually does double duty. They give you a, a USB to USB-C cable in the box to charge the battery. So when it's off, uh, that USB-C is an input. When it's on, the USB-C is an output. So you definitely wanna make sure that you've got it on when you plug your laptop in, otherwise you will drain your battery. So now what I'm gonna do is zoom the camera out a little bit. Uh, we're gonna plug in two tablets that need a charge and plug the MacBook in and we'll see if it can keep everything going at once. All right, it's time for our science experiment here. I've got an NVIDIA K1 tablet on the top here, a uh, iPad Air 2 below it, and we've got a MacBook with a USB-C port on there. So we're gonna charge all three of these devices at once. We're gonna start with uh, the K1 tablet from NVIDIA. Uh, so we're getting about 5.14 volts at almost two amps on that one. I'm gonna plug the iPad Air 2 in right now. And on that one, we're going to get, uh, looks like uh, five volts at 2.31 amps. The iPads love to uh, charge fast, so that is uh, drawing a good charge from there. Now what I'm gonna do is take out our USB-C cable, this is the Apple cable, and plug it into our MacBook and see what happens. It might uh, hit the USB ports a little bit here, as you can see, so we're uh, seeing a little bit less voltage and amperage out of the two USB ports now that all three are charging, but we are uh, able to get all these devices charging at the same rate. I do not have a USB-C voltage meter, unfortunately, but uh, in checking some of my battery utilities, I am getting about the same voltage I'm getting out of the other two ports on here. So uh, all three devices can charge at the same time. They're doing uh, definitely better than one amp of power, which is good. Uh, so you will see a little bit of a, of a performance hit as far as charging speed is concerned when all three devices are uh, plugged in simultaneously. But if I unplug the MacBook here, uh, you can see you're getting a decent rate of charge out of those two USB ports. So it's definitely a, a good charger to have with you on the road if you have kids and you wanna make sure everybody's devices are charged or stay charged. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though is the efficiency of the battery. Battery. One of the things I like about Anchor is that they're very upfront about the efficiency of their product. So on this one, uh, they say you're going to lose about 30 or 40 percent of the stated capacity uh, during charging just due to the physics of electricity. So uh, you lose some of that to heat. Uh, you might have some resistance on the cables that will uh, impact the total charging capacity of the device. So uh, you're not going to get 20,100 milliamp hours of total charge capacity. You're going to get less than that. But uh, in my experience, I've been able to charge my phones a couple of times with this battery and the other one that I was using using actually more than a couple of times, and you could probably get your MacBook charged uh, at least once from a dead state, maybe even twice. So you will get 
uh, a decent amount of capacity with this when you're carrying it around and it's good that they're very uh, upfront about what these things can do and I actually really do like the anchor batteries because they do feel as though they have a higher quality to them they do make nice uh, uh, products overall and I've been very impressed with uh, the product line that I have seen so far and I think I would recommend them over a more generic cheaper brand uh, that you might see out there because they're built better uh, they're probably safer to operate too because many of these other batteries you don't know where they're coming from we saw with all the hoverboards with things burning and everything I think uh, choosing a battery from a company that uh, puts a little bit more effort into the manufacturing of it even if it costs a little bit more uh, might be worth considering so that is the anchor power core 20,100 plus at the time that I'm recording this review it's about $60 on Amazon a nice product really well designed uh, one thing to keep in mind on USB-C is uh, make sure if you are buying additional cables to use with this uh, that you get cables that are certified to support higher voltages even though this may not uh, provide the same voltage that your power adapter will you definitely want to buy better quality USB-C cables uh, so I'm going to put a link below to a Google engineers report of many of these cables that are available he's been blessing cables that uh, he's found that do support the higher voltages and are safe to use with your equipment because some of these USB-C cables are not uh, he has looked at this battery and the cable it comes with both have passed muster with him uh, but you definitely want to make sure that any other cables you buy are safe uh, so be sure to check out that link below this is Lon Seibin thanks for watching this channel is brought to you by the generosity of my patreon supporters if you find the channel helpful you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month visit lon.tv slash patreon to learn more